Hello Scorpio, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. Keep that in mind. It's going to focus on your person, the person you're in a connection with, what are they thinking or feeling, how they view the connection, um, and what's going on between you two. We're going to look at all of that. All right, Scorpio, let's get into it. Let's look at the current energies of your person at this time. Spirit, current energies for the person that Scorpio is connecting with at this time, please energies of the person that Scorpio is connecting with. Treasure Island. Nice. So this person could be viewing you as a treasure, as a wish fulfilled, as something to value and protect. Oh, okay. And then we get orphaned. I feel like you're not speaking to this person or not together, possibly. Someone was left behind here. Time to go. Yeah, someone left this connection in the past recently um give me one more please for scorpio sorry about that guys those are my dogs in the background wow between worlds okay i'm getting that some something valuable was lost here someone could also be viewing you as a prize and is feeling very uh, regretful, remorseful that they left between worlds. It's almost like they're they're going back and forth or they're not really, it's, it's almost like they're in the past, going back to the past and, and coming to the present, back to the past, coming to the present. That's how I'm seeing this. Um, it's almost like they, they, it's almost like they can't make a decision, like they're in limbo. For others of you, this person is in a connection right now and is considering leaving a connection. Almost like for those that resonate with the fact that this is a third party situation, it's almost like this person's in a loveless commitment or loveless relationship. And it's like they want to end that so they can go after their treasure here what they value. Others of you, this is someone who left a connection, you or them, and they regret it. Let's get some more information about this. Spirit, how does this person view Scorpio or this connection? What are their messages can you give us regarding this person that Scorpio is dealing with? What other messages or insight can you give us, Spirit, regarding this person? Oh my goodness. What other insight can you give us into this person that Scorpio is dealing with? Scorpion. Whew, this person got burned. That's just what I heard. <laughs> Someone here could have also, it's almost like in a, this is a very competitive, aggressive energy here. Yeah, Peacock. This person had an ego or cared about appearances with the Peacock. This is also someone who's confident, who it's almost like they might see you. This is like my nine of pentacles card of this deck where someone sees you having it all. Beauty, brains, stability. This person could also care about appearances. Um, ooh, yeah, look, this person is thinking about ending something. Having a, the it's like, Killing something. Remember when I said killing something to go after something else? That's what the bat's about. Bottom of the deck, I have Stingray. So this is someone who has no spine at this time. But with Scorpion, I'm really feeling the sense that this person, um, again, with the they they messed up and it, it it ended up biting them in the butt is kind of what I'm seeing here. See how their butt's on fire? With <laughs> That's just what I'm getting here. Someone possibly had an ego or thought they were very confident about something and it, it ended up not working out for them, possibly. For others of you, this is someone that sees you as a very independent, beautiful, stable energy with the peacock as well. Let's see. Let's get more information here for Scorpio. What would this person tell Scorpio or any other information that we should know? regarding this person's thoughts 
more feelings, please, for Scorpio. Any other insight you can give us, Spirit, about this person's thoughts and feelings towards Scorpio at this time? This love is manifested. Okay, so that could be you or them. Uh, roles can be reversed, guys. Keep that in mind. So I could be talking about you or the person you're connecting with. So this person could be manifesting you back into your life, into their life, um, or you could be doing that, Scorpio. Okay, that's way too many, but it started with I screwed up, so that makes sense to me. Don't give up hope, huh? Don't give up hope. Why am I thinking this person's giving themselves a pep talk? <laughs> Almost like they, they either you or them thought this could never start over. Yeah, trust. Someone here doesn't believe or didn't believe that something could be fixed, mended, or something could be revived here. Someone also could be um, needing to trust that things will work out once they end something. Because someone here is ending something with the bat. There's a transformation here. I have this love is faded at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. So let's get into the tarot and get more insight into your connection. Spirit, what can you tell me about this connection between Scorpio and the person they are connecting with? What are their mutual energies? What's going on in this connection of spirit? Okay, let's get some insight here. What's going on between this connection? Whoa, okay. We got the King of Cups upright, so you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could also be you, Scorpio. We got death reversed. There you are again. Someone's resisting um, the the end of something or resisting change. We got two of pentacles reversed. Ace of pentacles upright. Wow. Let's get one more. What else do you have for Scorpio regarding this connection, Spirit? Yeah, the Magician. Yep. Someone's manifesting, making an offer here. Someone has um, either made a decision or um, something's about to give here. We've, you know, this back and forth, back and forth that they've been doing but between worlds has to stop. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Again, with the two paths they could take um looking at the potential of both paths here um with death reversed someone here is resisting something the end of something or the change of something um this person could also be resisting the end of you you and them the end of you and them it's almost like they don't want they're not giving up hope on manifesting this connection again have the Magician here right next to the Ace of Pentacles. You know, there's a lot of love here with the King of Cups. So let's clarify these and get more insight. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Scorpio, please. Regarding, oh. Got to take these out from the other reading. insight can you give me help me clarify these messages there's a death reversed again I just saw at the bottom of the deck here all right for Scorpio let's start with this king of cups oops tell me more about this king of cups please Wow, 
Wow, wow, wow. We got the Empress and the Ten of Cups upright. So, again, this is someone that wants to manifest, create something that's emotionally fulfilling. There's a lot of love and emotion behind this decision, this manifestation here. That's way too many. Tell me more about this King of Cups, please. The Hermit reversed. So this could be somebody that you could be dealing with a Virgo here. Um, there's somebody um, here that's very withdrawn or there's just no communication at all here. There's also someone here that feels isolated, which kind of makes sense given what's going on. Tell me about death reverse. Thank you. Seven of Wands, Justice, and Nine of Swords. Yeah, it's almost like someone wants to make things right. They can't stop stressing or thinking about what happened or feeling guilty or remorseful. They want to make things right. They want to stand up for what they view is as valuable. This seven of wands uh, or the seven of wands in this deck. This is someone who doesn't is not phased or bothered um, about the opposition here. So it's almost like this person doesn't even care what other people think, what other people might say. Um, they're gonna do or, or all they can think about is making things right with justice and the knight of swords. Could be dealing with a Libra. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles reverse. I'm really getting this is someone that made a choice. King of Swords upright. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there. This this King of Swords knows what he wants. Well, of course I dropped it on the floor. Okay, I'm just going to... Flip it over how I got it. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Wanting to rebalance the situation. Willing to give. Wanting to give. What else for Two of Pentacles? Yeah, look at this. Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. This person wants it all with you. They're manifesting... Uh, a stable offer, a long-term offer here. Long-term commitment. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio, please. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Judgment reversed. Wow. Anything else for the Ace of Pentacles? Knight of Pentacles. So this offer might be um, coming at you slow, Scorpio. With judgment reversed, I feel like this person made a bad call in the past. Nine of Pentacles reversed. This person could be feeling um, like like they're unable or or it's almost like they're feeling a little insecure. What I'm getting here is they're feeling a little bit insecure about re a renewal here. Um, it's almost like they, they've made some bad mistakes in the past. Karma has really taught them a lesson here. Um, karma kind of humbled them is what I'm getting with the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Um, and so they're going to take things slow and steady here with the Knight of Pentacles working their way up to something here very stable, the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the Magician. Tell me about the Magician spirit for Scorpio. Ooh, five of pentacles. This is that orphaned energy. 
I feel like someone's trying to manifest a way out of being, you know, left out in the cold, feeling ignored. Look at this, King of Cups and the Lovers reversed. This this is like a broke uh, like a breakup or a separation of some sort. This King of Cups reversed. He's not emotionally stable about this. It's almost like he's over emotional. Um, this person could have also made a bad choice in love, and they have had to deal with the outcome of that emotionally. Could be dealing with a Gemini here as well. This person, I feel like, is manifesting a way out of this energy. It's almost like all they want is to make this upright. You see what I'm saying? Like, what they want is this. It's like, this is what they're daydreaming about, you know? But right now, it's like this. There's, <laughs> there's, there's a lot to overcome here. Tell me more about the magician. Sorry, I dropped that. Tell me more about the magician. For Scorpio, please. Wow, the world reverse. Yeah, this is someone that does not want to close a chapter. That's why I have death reverse and the world reverse. This is someone that's refusing to let the past go. They want to make things right. They want success with the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. They want victory. And, you know, it's like they're refusing or refusing to give up hope on this connection. For some of you, this person needs closure or you need closure with this person. And there's like an energetic tie between you. Someone here is daydreaming or manifesting a long-term commitment with you, um, wanting something stable with you. Um, they're, they're hoping it's not too late, that they didn't learn their lessons too late, um, because this Knight of Pentacles is very slow. Um, and it's almost like they're hoping you're going to accept this offer. They've been manifesting it, but they have been unable to really... Um, it's almost like their manifestation has everything to do with reopening the past. With getting closure. With having success here. Look at this. My God, look at this. I have Six of Wands, Queen of Wands, Page of Cups, and Queen of Cups all upright. This person, again, I'm getting that, that sense of attraction, this peacock. Um, this person's very attracted to you. There's chemistry. They possibly want to apologize or express their love um, to this Queen of Cups. I just heard, like, they think you have it all. I mean, that's that's the energy that I got with, um, and they're really in their head about this. I have the Eight of Swords there as well. It's like they finally made their decision. They probably have ended something that they had to end, you know, trusting in fate to give them what they desire give them their treasure right that's that's the the um energy that i'm picking up on someone who wants to have their ten of cups and be with an empress energy i mean this king of cups this is what they want this is where they're actually at um you know this is their treasure their desire Otherwise, thank you so much, Scorpio. I really appreciate you checking out this reading. I hope that it resonated with most of you. If it did, please leave, my, leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. Um, thanks again for all your likes, shares, and subscribes and comments. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you back at another video. Take care.